Hello right, everyone and welcome to a video and we're opening up another structure deck. I love my structure decks. Uh, the reason why I like my structure decks is because you just get, it's just a great way to get a whole set. You know, you don't have to open up X amount of packs or something like that. You just get, get them all and there's usually some pretty good art in here. It's where all the new sort of stuff gets released to. So, oh, I forgot you go do it like really weirdly. Oh, bump the camera a bit. Alright, so the deck is here. Standard play map, probably won't go into that. Don't care about that. Then, what, actually, let's talk about what box this is first, because I don't even know. Sacred Beasts. Okay. So, it looks like this is like Obelisk, Slather, and uh, the Winged Dragon of Ra. So, we will see. What is this? Raven Lord of Phantasmum's Shimmering Scraper. So, no, it's not Obelisk the Tormentor. It is that guy. And where is the opening? Alright, so on the back, uh, promo cards again. Oh, and a token. Oh, something just fell out my ear. Do we have another token on the back? Yeah, another token. Nope, no more tokens. Okay, so we've got the two tokens. Let's actually look at them first, because they're different, apparently. Phantasmal Martyr token. And then we have Phantasm. I hope I'm pronouncing that. Fant, Fanta, Phantasm. Yeah, it has to be Phantasm. Right? Surely. Alright. So as a holographic on the front, we have obviously... Oh, that's... Raviel, Lord of, Lord of Phantasms, Shimmering Scraper. Then... Oh, come on. That's, that has to be Slyther. These are obviously some sort of alternates. Uh, from like an ultimate dimension or something like really come on Well, unless that's their actual name. No, Slyph would be its name Uria Lord of Searing Flames does look cool though And then Hamon Lord of Striking Thunder, but it's a light type Oh wait, we got two of them. Oh two shinies nice Raviel, or Lord of Phantasms. Oh, so we get two Raviels, but only one of the others. Okay. Oh, these are first edition. You never notice. This did come out today. I have, Oh, actually, this is another hollow. Yeah, this did come out today. I'm opening it the day I got it. Uh, probably won't be up the day that it came out, but that's okay. Uh, Armatile, the Chaos Phantasm. Another holographic. Cerulean Skyfire. Oh, another holographic. Wow, there's like six or seven holographics so far. Hyper Blaze. Wait, is this whole deck going to be holographic? Because if so, it's going to be fantastic. Dimension Fusion Destruction. All the three different cards that are in this deck in here. Oh, no more holographic. Damn. So let's just have a look at the holographics for a second. Because we've got a lot. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight holographics in this structure deck. Wow, that is fantastic. I didn't even know that. Chaos Core. Dark Beckoning Beast. Chaos Summoning Beast. These, beasts are, uh, these cards are looking really cool. Dark Summoning Beast. Phantom of Chaos. I predict these cards are going to look cool. It had to have with a deck called uh, Structured Beasts. I just knew it was going to be good. Phantom Sky Blaster, Mad Reloader, Grave Squirmer, Rainbow Duck Dragon, uh, Tragodia, Radian the Multidimensional Kaiju, Chaos Hunter, Puppet Master, Stygian Street Patrol. Mate, imagine this thing patrol on your streets. Oh, Farfa. Uh, Melabranch of the Burning Abyss. The Fabled Cerebral. Cerebral? Cerebral. Cerebral. Oh, Danger Chupacabra. That's cool. No question mark, though. The Danger Jackalope had Danger exclamation mark, question mark, and then the name. So it's weird that they don't have a question mark for that one. 
Opening of the spirit gate. If uh, Avatar Legend of Korra told us anything, you shouldn't do that. Fallen Paradise. Phantasmal Martyrs. Spell Chronicle. Terraforming. Uh, we had that in another structure deck, I think. I think it was a Dino Beast uh, structure deck. The Dino Masters or Mashes, I can't remember. Uh, I know I pronounced it wrong in the video as well. Um, set Rotation. Some kawaii looking girls. It's nice. Mound of the Bound Creator. One for one. Oh, this is a black card. Look at this thing. It's hardly anything on it. Pattern. It looks like a tattoo or something. The beginning of the end. The beginning of the end of the, um, the printing press because there's no color on the thing. Pot of Desires. Ooh. That's nice. I'm this is in the Tim Chaos pack. And uh, it's, it's pretty expensive in the Tim Chaos pack. So it's pretty good that. Uh, you can actually get this from the structure deck. It will, it will allow a lot of people to um to yeah to get this without having to actually buy the Toon Chaos version. So it will probably drop the price of this. So you might need to be careful of that if you're uh, if you're one of those people who who uh, buy and trade cards just for the price of it. So what does this even do? Let's have a look. Banish ten cards from the top of your deck face down. Draw two cards. You can only activate one pot of desires per turn. Interesting. That's a lot. Banish ten cards. But, only activating one Pot of Desires per turn, that's obviously to counteract the fact that uh, Pot of Greed, which is a banned card, is a card which you can just constantly play and play and play and play and play and just draw out your whole deck. So, uh, they fixed that, obviously. Owner's Seal. Field Barrier. Swords of Concealing Light. That was also... I think it was either in one of the Gold Sarcophagus like, tins we've opened or the Dino deck. Mystical Space Typhoon, one of the uh, more of the original cards. That one of these were in the structure decks uh, from the beginning, UD or uh, Kyber or something like that. I can't remember which one. I have a couple of these. It's always good to get reprints like this, I think, anyway. Awakening of the Sacred Beasts. Escape from the Dark Dimension. That looks cool. Looks like El uh, Edward Elric with the, the metal arms and legs and the blonde hair and the cloaky looking thing. Uh, shape Sister. I like that. It's a play on Shape uh, shape Shifter, but Shape Sister. Imperial Custom. Mistake. I'm pretty sure there's another. I think this is an alternative art. Um, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there was a mistake card. Maybe it's like a mistake, but there was like something else off the name. I, I can't remember. Uh, Dark Factory of More Production. Let's have a look at the art here. I don't know what they're producing. It's like handbags. Good old capitalism. And the last card is a fusion card. Phantasmum Emperor Trilogic. Nice. Anyway, I like that deck. I enjoyed that. I think that was a nice deck. I'm not sure what the card prices are like uh, just yet. Obviously, it just came out today, so it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty up and down, I reckon, from here. Uh, it's going to affect a lot of the other cards from Toon Chaos, I think, and and the other sort of uh, tins, but that's okay. Um, which one do I want to keep? We kept this one last time, so we'll keep this one again. Oh, screw it, we'll keep both of them. But why not, eh? Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.